All right, well, um, before I get into this uh, third mission, I'll note actually previewed it a little bit because, well, there's all those guys I wanted was was sort of out there. And it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure I really like the mission, but it's new and different. I'll give it that. So yes, bring a group to meet the Empire's forces. We'll have a new objective after this. Alright, so basically um, what's happening here... I've got these forces here and I'll have some more um, in a bit. What do you need? We're just going to get these guys up here. I guess that's as far as we go. Okay. Yeah. So basically I've got all these like, you know, um, heroes here. Each of them has an army on them. So basically this guy has a Chandler, uh, a guard and a scout. This one's also got a couple of scrolls here, and Ant, Bramble. They also have some Fire Ward stuff, which is interesting. What do you need? This guy has some healing potions, which is good for him. No of those. Um, I think what we want to do... I want to sort of like, you know, um, mix and match these things a little bit, I think. This guy here is probably my toughest hero, so I may want to make him have an extra guy on him. We're just going to basically swap stuff. Can you give that to him? Give that to him. Healing and Swift. What do you need? I'll let him keep those healing potions, I think, for now. You've got one of these two, so... Let's give this to you. There's a reason why, why I'm basically doing this, by the way, where I'm giving, like, you now the swordsman here all this stuff. He basically has a high, like, you know, 9 plus 22 damage here. And these guys aren't going to fare too well, these guys in his party here, so... Well, I want to move their stuff, I don't think. I think we're going to give this guy two hunters like so. I'm basically loading up this guy to be really strong. I'm wondering if I really should be loading up that much, but whatever. That's good enough for now. She's going to get a party to my main hero here, so she's going to get herself a hunter. This one. This one. Let's also get ourselves...
a center lancer. Now, interestingly enough, I'm not sure she's actually the strongest one here. Because she's like level, like, you know, um, four. And like some of these guys are like, you know, um, level three here with like, you know, leadership of four. This one's leadership four again. This guy's uh, leadership, uh, leadership, like, you know, um, five of five, and he's got level five. This guy here, he's actually level um, seven, so he's really strong. All this lovely stuff. Artifact Lord, Banner Bearer, Arcane Elves. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to pick up the... Um, there's actually an item over here, so... Let's go grab that. We're going to need him. We're going to enter turn. Probably should take all this stuff out, so let's do that. You know what, he's got the party sp space forts, let's get this guy a scout. And some cannon fodder. I mean, why not? Let's get him back up here. I think all of, like these guys are level um, three, the um, the sorcerer types, but they also have all this stuff here too. What do you need? Let's see here. I want this guy. To give that stuff over to him. And then this guy will give his stuff over to my main hero, or my original hero. Let's actually equip him so he can actually make use of stuff. Let's put this on you. Actually, can this guy use orbs? Yes, yeah, so this guy can use orbs. I wonder if I want to give that to him. I think I might do that. Right, let's kick it off. So, enter turn. Actually, let's move my guys a little bit more. Alright, so. Here's what I'm basically up against. There you go, enough. Alright, so my movie hero in basically says, Before we shed blood, please sheath your steel for but a moment. We only wish to speak. And Bordabas basically says, Speak from where you stand, messenger. 
If you come to seek forgiveness, you will not find it here. Forgiveness? No. We cannot expect that. The rash behavior of some of my people has brought us to the brink of war. However, I am sure we would both prefer to resolve this without adding to our losses. It is for you to decide what must be done to repair the wounds between our people. We will try to make amends. Hmm. To be honest, this is unexpected. I am a soldier. I do not deal in treaties. However, I am eager to return these men to their families. We will need some time to evaluate your proposal. Atlassian. Personally, I'll be content when we receive two of their heads for each warrior they have cost us thus far. Atlassian, you are out of line. As a sign of goodwill, leave these lands. Take your troops back to your grove while we deliver your message to Emery. Torak um, storms in. I've had about enough of this arrogant yapping. No elves will follow any orders of yours. The only message your perfect king will receive will be the one carved into your carcasses. Now, brothers, summon forth Taria and Gull. Toriak! And it kicks off. My guys appear. And pow! Spells get cast. And here comes a red dragon. He wipes out them. Wipes out some of my troops. The dragon, control it! What are you doing? Surface! The Empire will no longer listen to our pleas, and that dragon will soon destroy us all. Quickly, send out our forces. We must deal with them before any reinforcements arrive. I shall deal with Toriak. Alright, so you have a new objective. Destroy the Terran Gullet, the Red Dragon, and destroy all Empire Generals before reinforcements arrive. So, basically what's happened here, um, there's a Red Dragon on the field right here, called Terran Ghoul, and he's kick-ass strong. And anyone who basically goes up against him is going to die horribly. Uh, unless we maybe can consider this guy who has, like, you know, some protection on him. He has pretty good movement, so he can move around pretty easily. And uh, I've also got all, this, all these Empire guys to deal with. Though they're all injured at this point, which is nice. So there's that. Anyhow, what do you need? we got this guy here. He's got uh, decent enough army to fight stuff with. This guy's level 5 too, but he's only got like basic stuff. Got Alassian over here to deal with, but he's only got squires, priest, mage, nothing really t tough about him. The main threats are really d these guys over here, but um, more or less they should, you know, the dragons are going to kill them or it's going to kill me or whatever. We'll basically see. Alright, now I do have some scrolls I can make use of, so one of the scrolls I want to make use of right now is the end scroll. And we're going to activate an end over here, basically to activate trigger for a map. Basically there's Empire forces all over the place. Empire Guard, the elves approach! So basically when you get over here you get a trigger uh, event where um, basically a bunch of these are going to go storming at me. We've got like, you know, more guys over here. More guys right there. There's a Archangel, because you know. Archangels. These guys will basically come down in this direction and hopefully they'll distract the dragon for me a little bit. And then I'll basically come in and kill him after that. Um, right now, our priority really is to kill these guys up here. So, that's what we're going to aim to do. I may want to use a, weaken, a weaker army to go after these guys up here. So... Let's wipe out these guys with you. They go after my hero with this guy, because he's an you know, assassin who can go after whoever he wants to. Basically this is the Imperial Assassin, makes use of the Dark Arts to kill its enemies. Basically he's got daggers and poison. He basically attacks whoever he wants to, and like, you know, teleports to him and hits him with like, you know, poison attack. 
Um, not really fun to fight, but whatever. I don't think he's going to last too long against these guys, so... I want you to go after who? Ah, go after him. There's a big hit to him, full damage. My guy in the middle is going to take a lot of damage because basically he's like, you know, a center star with like less damage defense than these guys. But whatever. I think we're going to go hit him with that. Kill him. And pop him. He gets healed up a little bit, that's fine. I think at this point, let's go after you. And you can kill him. Doesn't really matter which, which aura, I basically have these guys attack stuff or whatever. Kill him. Now it's just the back line, which, you know, can't really defend itself too easily. Um, hit him. Hit him. <clears throat> he heals the mage, but whatever, it's gonna die next time. He dies this time, though. As does he. There's a little bit of stuff to help this guy out. He's going to need it. Let's give it to him. Now, note by the way that my guy's going to get very injured doing these attacks, so... Not a whole lot to do about that. Let's send her out next. The attacks begin. We've got the Inquisitor here. Long devoted to the task of eradicating evil. The Inquisitor attacks with holy force and is not affected by mind-based attacks. Basically, it's the upgrade of the Witch Hunter. Um, back here, we've also got Marksman. We've seen him before. There's the Knight. The Knight uses divine strength to guard the Empire against iniquity. And then we got, you know, a wizard back here. Um, I want this guy. Thirty plus fifty equals eighty plus forty-five. I still have to kill the Inquisitor, so let's go I'll go after him. Oh look I can zap them all. Boom! That was excellent. Excellent little battle. Um heal uh her up. Some lightning scrolls, that'll be useful. We're going to use these right now to zap you. That's enough for age right there. This guy I want to start making his way back, so we'll start doing that. Now, this giant's going to be very dangerous. Not a whole lot I can do about him. Ent, Bramble. Really, at this point, I just want to use all my skills to soften up people, so... Soften this guy up a little bit. This is war.
Bobby, there's Sardis over there. Couple matriarchs in his party, wizard. Pretty strong party over there to deal with. But I'm gonna soften these guys up first. Just wanna use up these scrolls a little bit. And let's move you back down here. Move you down here. I think we're going to do with her, we're just going to give these scrolls to the one in the back. So that if she dies, we don't lose them all. Where? You've got... Uh, hmm. Let's also give that back as well, just in case you know. There we go. Now, of course, I still got my capital here. We're still making money and stuff. Um, I'm honestly not really sure what we're going to do with all the spells and stuff I'm going to be able to cast. This is a fairly quick moving mission because you're not really like having to build stuff. It's already built for you. It's just a war. It's if it's the war is what you're after, after right here. Um, a temple would be useful. Let's just get that going. And I think I'm going to let, let's end the turn and let these guys come to me. For the most part. They're going to actually come after me with like, you know, full force, but... What do you need? Hmm. I might send one of these parties up to actually try and deal with uh, this part here, um, part here, because I sort of missed them. They might go after here, so we'll maybe wait. Let's just end our turn. Basically, how this works is we have a whole lot of like empire units to deal with. We have a dragon to deal with, and they're going to attack me over there apparently. Okay. Now these guys are all weakened, so. Smack. And we can just go. Apparently, fail to kill him. There was that guy right there. Well, smack him. And heal up you. Kill them all. Nice. So there goes one of the armies. And you can heal up. I'm healing up these guys basically because she's going to die immediately as soon as an archer goes after her. And this guy's got an archer in his party right, so... There's a golden skull, that's nice. There, basically, there goes an archer shines, he's dead. Like, this guy's only got, like, you know, 40 damage, but he would have still did a lot of damage anyways. Oh, I missed that guy. That sucks. Um, they don't have enough to take him out, so... Kill that knight. Oh, they went after him. Interesting. There we go, kill them both. I figured they are going to win this battle, but... Damn, we've only got 1 HP on this guy and 55 on her. As soon as the archer attacks her, attacks is dead. That's probably, I think. And they're moving in. Of course, they're going to have to go after the dragon here, so... Or the dragon's going to go after them, because basically they're all close to him. So, there goes him. 
There goes him. This is what basically how I planned it, right? So the dragon's gonna basically focus his efforts on attacking the guys as closest to it. Faron basically speaks. Have you gone completely mad, Toriak? You cannot control that beast. What in Galleon's name are you doing? Answer me. I I do not understand. Ridiculous. Now we've made enemies of the Empire, and we must deal with this as well. No doubt reinforcements are headed this way. If we survive this, I will escort you to Hearst Grove to see you answer for everything you've done. Dot dot dot. Alright, so. Apparently she survives. Interesting. Um, very interesting. I want her to escape then. What do you need? What do you need? Get into that right there. Actually, you know what? I want uh, you to get those scrolls. I'm basically just waiting for the Empire to come after me, so... Let them come, so to speak. You go right there, so they can't get around. You go right there. There we go. And my capital, where it's going to go. Not resurrect Tim because you don't have the money for it. And again, let them come. By the way, the dragon will take damage as he goes along, which sucks, but whatever. It will do a lot of damage to the Empire at the same time. Oh, there's the Empire right there. There was that one. There was that one. He's going to probably get to me next turn. Dragon's probably going to go after Arshin and start going toward me. Will be what'll happen. Eh, those guys aren't really that tough. Um, they're not that tough, I say that, but they can still probably kick my ass if I'm not careful. Let's fight the archer with you. Oracle gets killed because, you know, the hunter kills him immediately. Um, now, this guy hits pretty hard, so... 100, 30, and 175. That's enough to take out one of these, you know, knights if I team up with them, but... Let's go... Bang. Ow. I missed the, that guy of all things. You're just going to guard yourself. And there was that knight. She heals both to her and knight, that's fine. She's probably gonna kill this guy. So let's have you focus on him. Oh, if we missed a cleric. Oh well. Um, smack him. Nice, we killed him off. Lost my oracle, but that's gonna happen. 
We have slain the last of this group, but we should prepare for a counter strike from the Empire soon. Surface, fall back to the capital and heal yourselves before moving on. This might buy us time to scout the enemy forces before battle. So yeah, basically it's going to be, you know, heal yourself if you need to. But of course I already triggered it, so you know, the dragon's going to keep coming at us. Um, you know what? Let's actually trigger a bit more. Because you actually can trigger more stuff to come. So let's go with you. Nope, not you. You. I want to monopolize the dragon's power as much as possible, basically, so... Let's do that. The elves are here. Basically, more guys up here. There's also this unshank over here. Let's just, you know, pop into it, just so we can see what's in here. Basically, a cleric, a wizard, a priest, type of wish under the squire. Let's hit him really hard. Oh no, by the way, it's not really worth killing these guys because they're not really part of any, like a general, they don't have a general or anything, so... You just get to kill these guys for experience if you want to. But whatever, that's enough. The Oracle's still very dead, so... Move back. Thistle, give all this stuff to her, because you're now the frontliner. Actually, you know what? Take out... That one. And let's just grab a potion. That'll work pretty well. I am ready. Let's see how this goes. See how they're going to keep saying stuff. Dragon will keep doing its thing. They've actually managed to take down half its health, which is pretty amazing. I'll note that this guy doesn't have great initiative, so they're actually getting a lot of like, you know, free strikes on with like their archers and stuff, but he has a lot of HP, so he takes a beating to go down. He is a beast. True and true. And by the way, you have all the information on these guys just because you, you have the information because of the hearts narrow, I guess. Um. I am ready. What do you need? What do you need? Thistle. I want Thistle to take out this guy, I think. Let's see here. This guy's very dead, by the way, but... Um, 45 and 30 is enough to possibly take out... You. Ouch. Well, look at this. The Chandler guy shot off first, so... Boom! Wasn't expecting that to happen. And we missed the wizard apparently anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but whatever. Um, you are going to do what? Guard. Here with my back line. Oh, this guy survived. That's interesting. Um, kill this guy. 
Now, if I'm lucky with him, I might be able to finish off. Seventy-nine. Let's kill this guy. There's the scout. We're actually gonna make this guy wait. Actually, no, let's kill this guy anyways. Doesn't matter which guy goes off first here, so. Kill him off. There goes that wizard. Got an ice pillar scroll. They're all healed up apparently, so that's nice. Let's drop this guy in here. And... I'm just looking at these guys here. Get those guys back to the capital at least. I didn't actually mean to move her there, but whatever. She couldn't get back anyways, I guess. They need to die, so... Let's grab this Ice Pillar Scroll. And blast them. That did a little bit of damage. That's basically what I'm hoping for at this point, just to damage these guys a little bit. I kind of wish I actually had less of like, you know, the, the back liners and more front liners, but you know, your DLs don't really have it many, you know, types of units or that type of thing. Fortunately. I need to eliminate this guy, so... Let's send this guy up to deal with them. He takes a hit. Alright, let's see here. Um, get the Imperial Knight here. The Imperial Knight's absolute faith propels him to defend the instant, making him a familiar adversary. I don't really have any ca casters, so it's basically all about damage at this point, so... This guy's probably dead, but 30, 95. And 30. Let's go smack. Oh, there goes my scout. I still got a hunter, though, so that's fine. This guy has three hearts, 77 plus 19, so. 87, 96, quite a bit of damage. We're basically aiming for like 140 damage, so... Let's kill this guy if I can. Oh, he's taking a big hit. Oh, he survived, nice. Take him out. There was that knight. Oh, Marshman takes out the centaur. 
Um. Oh, he got to go off first, unfortunately. I was hoping to get this guy to kill him, but you know, whatever. Kill him. Two casualties, but whatever. He took out that stuff. Life potion. Let's get back here. Wow, you can actually equip potions for these guys, apparently. You haven't seen it yet, but these guys actually use potions in Battle of the Heroes. I actually saw it happen with one of the heroes I was fighting. Let's see here. We're going to exchange these guys a little bit. Let's move out you. Take you. That's nah, fine. Give you the Oracle. Hmm. I'm not going to want to try and keep my heroes alive as much as possible. So. That's basically what we're basically doing here right now. Let's just heal up you a little bit. Callie, well. use your swift scroll on this one. You're good to return at least to the front at least, so... Get a centaur. Get up here. This guy's just a basic guy for the most part. He can take out a few simple armies, but he's mostly can fire that one. What do you need? She needs to fall back, so let's get her into the capital. Dead unit's gonna stay in here, I guess. Really what I'm looking for is just to like resurrect the main US I need, like you know, um, this guy. Sitting you over here. Drop off these units. She's actually injured, so I probably want to get her to actually heal up, so... Let's go like this. Grab all the injured ones and just go back in. Got two guys I have to send back at some point. These guys are both a little free, I guess, so. 
Let's give you a hunter. You know what? I'll show you give this one to all the stuff here. She's gonna be like my like one that's basically gonna fall back for the most part. You're gonna pop out for a moment. I'm gonna get this one just to grab a few more units. Even if she's like, you know, gonna have weak units, she'll still be able to kill stuff, so. Center Lancer. It's better than like, you know, nothing for most part, so let's go there. There we go. Nice setup of an army to start taking out more of the Imperial stuff. Let's see how the dragon does this time around. And by the way, the Archangels will pop, pop in for some reason because, you know, they can, I guess. They're using cannon fire for, like, you know, the weaker stuff to kill. Or for the dragon. 